And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the fighters in the blue corner at the age of 34 years. Height, 1 meter 68 centimeters, weight 65 kilograms, with 26 fights in the record, 20 wins and 6 losses. Representing team, Team Adrian Maxim from Romania. Adrian Maxim! <laughs> and in the red corner, at the age of 31 years, with a height of 1 meter 75 centimeters, with a weight of 65 kilograms and 21 fights in the record, 16 wins, 5 losses. Representing team champion Thai James from Moldova is Dmitry Serbo. <laughs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, is the champion's belt, and only one of them will walk out of this cage wearing it. Let's find out who will it be. This is FIA Championship Takeoff Main Event Featherweight Championship in the 65 kilograms category. Five rounds, three minutes each. K1 rules. Referee Dmitry Lukosor. Okay, yeah. good luck. Judge, judge, judge. First round. Fight! History will be made here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Stanislav Brigitte relinquished the title. And I'm not sure if he's officially retired or not, but he's been stripped of the championship. And Dmitry Sirbu continues his quest for the gold. The only thing standing between him in the championship is one of Romania's finest featherweights, Adrian Maxim. Sirbu, obviously, much different fighter physically. Seven centimeters taller on paper, and you can see just built a little bit differently. Maxim is shorter fighter, stockier, and certainly has that ability to drop somebody. I've seen Maxim in some really incredible uh, contests. Oh my goodness! Adrian Maxim scores a knockdown very early. That's exactly what I was talking about, folks. He has got that power and he has just delivered here in round number one. Maxim again with a big powerful shot now. Oh, he is on point here tonight, and that is very bad news for Sirbu. Oh boy, Sirbu though, digging down deep now and dishing it back out in return. Sometimes Maxim has these short, compact, very powerful blows. Look at the way he's standing right in front of his opponent, shadowing his every move, cutting down the cage here. Both guys look to be in tremendous condition coming into this one. I'm sure they're ready for the full five rounds if necessary. Oh boy. Whoa! Serbu looking for the liver. He's got that skip in his step again here. I think he's recovered after that quick knockdown. Where has he? Head kick doubles up with the left. That second hammer drops in round one. Powerful exchange there. Oh boy, that has got to be a 10-8 round, ladies and gentlemen, for Adrian Maxim. A very rough start 
for Sirbu. What a shot there by Adrian Maxim of Romania. That is a huge advantage in this five round title fight. Is she gonna be at the after party? I gotta find out. And we are gonna find out, ladies and gentlemen, who is gonna walk out of here with that world championship around their waist. Right now, things looking very good Fight. for Adrian and Maxime, but as we all know, in this sport, things can change very quickly. What can Sirbu come up with here in round number two to get things back going for him here? Of course, these guys know each other. They fought in the finals of the Grand Prix tournament back in December, so just a few months ago. And because Sirbu had such a heartfelt victory, he looked like he was completely down and out. Whoa! And he came back. He was completely battered and bloodied and bruised and anything else beginning with the letter B. And somehow defeated an almost unfazed Maxim in the finals. And now he's already starting in a hole here in this contest. Can he come back once again for the victory? Maxim again cutting down the ring. There's that powerful short hook again. Oh my, another beautiful shot there. Maxim has really got the power today. Serbu fighting back though. Whoa! This is the Adrian Maxim I love to see. Push kicks there. Sirbu's got that reach advantage. He can hit him with those long range weapons and stay away from the power of Maxim. That'd be his best bet. Short little uppercut there. I want to see a little bit more action here from Adrian Maxim. Oh, there's that hook around the corner. Sirabu with a nice long combination there and buries the knee into the midsection. Quick combination. Look at the hand speed there of Sirabu. How much time remaining here in round number two? Oh, goodness gracious! Look at those punishing blows there from the Romanian. Whoa, my! Ho, ho, ho. Fireworks here at the end of round number two. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen, it's official. The winner of the tournament, Artyom Livadari, will challenge Konstantin Rusu for the championship. That's in the welterweight division. But right now, the title on the line here at featherweight.
third round. The bell in round number three. Keep in mind, this is a five-round title fight. Anything's still possible at this point, but you got to remember that uh, it was a 10-8 round in favor of Max in round number one. Whoa! Cerebral wall over him here in round three. That right hand got through. Maxine comes back. Punishing low kick there. Maxim is conserving his energy here. I want to see him exert a little bit more. Every time Maxim gets hit, he gives Sirbu this look like he can't hurt me. I don't know if that's the right strategy or not. I, I think he just needs to get busy. I don't I don't think that those mind games are gonna work on Sirbu. This is this is a veteran fighter. He's got over 20 professional fights. He's been in the in the FIA ring, in the FIA cage. He's been in title matches and, and in tournaments. He, you know, he's been in there with the best of the best. And I, I don't think that these mind games of, of Maxim are going to have much an effect on him. He's got a game plan. He knows what he's doing. He's sticking to it. And quite frankly, it's working right now. You take away the knockdown in round number one. And he's doing a pretty good job. So I, I don't really see the point of, of Maxim playing these games in there. I think he needs to get busy and try to win the fight. He's not going to win it mentally. He's going to win it physically. Maxim, though, make no doubt about it, still extremely dangerous at this point. He's playing it very close to the vest right now, but if he lands one of those power shots again, Servo could go down. I don't think that Maxim likes that Servo's using so much movement around the ring and that he's not standing in the pocket and making this a slug test. But that's not the way that he's fighting this contest here. He's fighting very smart here against Maxim. He's keeping the distance, he's staying away, using his range, using his technique, and he's just picking them off and scoring points. And in a five round fight, even if he did get knocked down in round one, if he continues this kind of a strategy over the long haul, he may win this thing on points. So as far as the scoring criteria is, is concerned here, in Kia kickboxing, there were no knockdowns in that round. You gotta go to cumulative damage, which goes completely in the favor of Dimitri Sirbu in that round. Degree of aggression in favor of, of Maxime, but that doesn't score that high. Okay. I've got this an even Round fight here through, through three rounds. I've got it. I've got a 28-28. Round number four here, championship rounds in this FIA championship featherweight title contest. Whoa, my. Quick combination there by Subu and Maxim again. Playing these games like you can't hurt me. But in the end, it doesn't matter if he hurts him or not. It matters if he scores points. He could keep going like this forever and ever. 
And if Maxi doesn't get busy and hurt Zerbu, it's going to hurt him on the cards. Maxi, I think, is getting frustrated. With him. This is not good. The longer this goes on, the better it's going to be for Sirbu. I've seen Maxime in fights like this before, where he gets frustrated when the fighter dances around the ring, and he's pointing over at the judges like, hey, are you looking at this? But the thing is, Sirbu's scoring points. He's doing a good job right now. Ooh, brings a push kick up to the face. That's going to score points as well. Cumulative damage is the name of the game right now for Dimitri Sirbu. Ooh, a clubbing shot from around the corner. Ooh, quick, powerful hook there by Maxine. That's what he needs. Crowd coming alive here for Sirbu. So Maxim's got to ask himself a question here. Did he come here to fight or did he come here to pose and try to intimidate his opponent? Oh, he's getting busy now, chasing him down. That's exactly what he needs to do. Get right up in the face here. Maxine needs to make this fight dirty. He needs to get right up in the grill of Sirbu and knock him out. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen. I've got it three straight rounds, rounds two, three, and four, 10-9 for Sirbu. Let's see what happens here. Of course, my, this is my unofficial scorecard, which means Fight. diddly squat around here. Round five. Good show of sportsmanship here between these two. Round number five, this one will settle it here, ladies and gentlemen, for the championship. Adrian Maxi on the hunt here. He needs a big round, he needs a knockdown. He needs to take destiny into his own hands here and try to finish this fight. Because if he continues to try to play games, this, the title's gonna slip right through his fingers. That's it, go after him now. Take the title. Serbu. He doesn't mind mixing it up. And again, he's having a discussion with the referee. Now is not the time for that. Just knock him out. Oh, he's falling back into this trap now. Shibu staying away, scoring points. I, I'm interested how the judges are looking at this. Are they taking the side of, of Maxime and saying, hey, you're right, Sirbu's not, he's, he's running away all the time. Or are they taking the side of like, well, if you count how many punches are landing, it's, you know, not even close. 
Zerbu's way ahead. One minute remaining now. Let's see what happens. You've got to punch if you want to win, It's my opinion. If you want to win the fight, you've got to hit your opponent. And uh, as many times as Maxim has hit him, Zerbu's probably hit him three times as many. Oh! Creeping up on 30 seconds remaining now. It's now or never for Adrian Maxi. Zerbu sticking to the game plan. Sticking and moving. Floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. Ten second hammer drops. And that's the way it ends, ladies and gentlemen. Dimitri Sirbu has completely frustrated Adrian Maxim. He's trying to leave the ringside area, and he's being forced back into the cage here by his trainer. And uh, he is not happy. Let's take another look at what happened here. Dimitri Sirbu from start to finish. After he got knocked down in that first round, he immediately used the ring and used his reach advantage. And honestly, he used his head quite well. And I, I think he's gonna walk out of here with the title. I don't think there's any other way to score the fight. If you wanna win the matchup, you have to hit your opponent. And Adrian Maxim was not able to do that. Maxim is frustrated and he's angry. He didn't like the way that this fight turned out. And I don't think he's gonna like the result either. Let's get the official decision here in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a hard but unanimous decision. And the winner is Red Corner.